I have a riddle slash challenge for apprentices and maybe some electricians to see if you guys know the correct splice to fix this three-way switch that's not operating properly. So we have a three-way switch and a three-way switch and a light. Nothing works. Now when we open up the switches, what we find is, so it's missing the feed. That end's made up like a dead end three-way and this end is made up like it's fed from the other side and loaded up to the light. What made this memorable when it happened in real life this switch had no attic and no basement up below it or above it. This switch had no attic and no basement above it or below it. But in the middle, in the attic on the way by, there was enough slack to cut a junction in. So we're going to bring the feed in to the midpoint right here. I'm going to cut the wire and label them with letters so you can post your answers. But do you think you know how to do that splice so that you don't have to damage sheetrock to get to either switch or the light? that you can cut midpoint and the 14.3 going by and get that to work. Side note, this happened to me in real life when I was an apprentice and I got a dollar an hour raise for knowing how to do it. So uh, let me cut it and label everything so you guys can post your answers. Thanks. Okay, I cut the wire. I'm gonna to try to show you everything as thoroughly as possible. Cable one goes to the three-way that is loaded to the light. And it's just made up correctly with the light on the point of the common. Cable three goes to the dead end with the white going to the common and the other two are travelers. So cable one is labeled ABC. Cable two, which is the feed, is labeled N and H. And cable three is XYZ. So now, if you want to post your answer, just say, you know, C goes to B, or H goes to X, whatever you think is the proper order. Thank you very much. And before anybody tries to say you have to have a neutral at every switch, please read the code. 4042C is the code that you're thinking says you have to have a neutral at every switch. But it says if the entire floor area is visible from a single switch location or a combination of switch locations, the grounded conductor, which is the neutral, the grounded conductor shall be required at only one of those locations. So obviously for this switch, we're saying we're in that situation. All right, thanks.